Kyle as a WF1 here and Team Alpha Romeo, I just couldn't leave you for a weekend without a proper strategy guide. I owe you a strategy guide and well here it comes. Last week we secured P1 again for the third time in a row, three out of three, but only just. It was very close between us and Alpine. As you can see, just a couple of hundreds of points in it from dropping to P2. So this week, at the weekend, we need you to use all your boosts, the best strategies that are in this video, and we need you to score your best ever results in order to hold another P1. It'd be great to get four in a row. That is the aim. So keep working hard. Get in the Discord below because we can help you out through the weekend. So we've got a GP coming up. It is the Hot Prospect GP event. 20% boosted drivers as well. And who have we got today? We've got Oscar Piastri. Pretty hot at the minute if you look at how McLaren are performing. We've then got, who have we got? Logan Sargent. Good old Logan. He's probably a bit lukewarm prospect right now, if we're honest, if best. And then we've got Nick De Vries as the third boosted driver. And it's fair to say he's pretty cold because he's frozen out of F1. So hot prospects. Yeah, pretty much only Oscar Piastri. So that's going to bring us nicely into what we've got in store for opening and final round. So we've got Abu Dhabi, 0% chance of rain in the United Arab Emirates. We've got Hungary with an 11% chance of rain this time round. We've got Austin throwing up a 20% chance of rain. Remember, seven laps at Austin. Melbourne, done that a fair few times lately. You'll be glad to know, 0% chance of rain for this one. Brazil makes a second week running and we've got 0% chance of rain. Singapore's there again. Very common with some wet weather as well. 66% chance of rain here. Race 7, Zandvoort, 100%. We all had that last week, so you should be bang on the strategy by now. And then we've got Silverstone at 4%. So some people who are lucky might get some rain that helps them out for some points. But we are yet to see. So make sure you join that Discord below. I'm glad to be bringing you Team Alpha Romeo strategies this weekend still, even if I haven't raced that much recently. And am I looking forward to a week of racing? Meh, we'll see. But let's get into the strategy guide. All eight tracks covered. Make sure that you support the channel. Like, comment, subscribe. And let's get into your Team Alpha Romeo strategies. Make sure you give it your all. I want to see your best results yet. So let's take a look at these strategies. First of all, we're kicking off with Abu Dhabi. Extreme heat. It is red hot in Abu Dhabi. So expect your soft tyres and your mediums to absolutely reduce in basically how far you can push them. So we're moving our softs to mediums. So 3M, 3M, 2 soft and a 2 soft, 3M, 3M. Usually we would go for the softs but we're just not going to be able to manage it at all. Hungary, we've had this a fair few times lately. 4 soft, 4M and a 5M, 3 soft is my go-to strategies around here. Copper and Herald will give you a good start as well. Got a small percentage of rain as well. Most AI will pit lap 5 or lap 6. So we're going to do a 4-4 and a 3-5. And that is going to basically avoid any chaos in the pits that might occur. You're going to be able to undercut very, very strongly. We've got Austin. And I'd like a 3-2-2 from the front. Or you can do a 4M free soft. Now, I race predominantly at the back. So, free soft 4M and a 4M free soft is good here. Copper and Herald getting you off to a great start. We've also got a small wet percentage as well, 20%. So, you can look at the AI pitting around lap 4, potentially some on lap 5. So, if you can, do a free wet, 4 wet on both drivers. If you don't have the gap, one driver will have to do a four wet, three wet. We then move to Australia. We've had this one a while as well, but more with rain. No rain this week, so three, three, two, and a four M, four M. It's tricky to do a one stop round here. Hard to slow 
and mediums you can't push too much so we're giving it our best go in opening round and we'll come back and update this strategy guide if we feel there is a better strategy out there for example you could look at doing a two three three if you want to be the opposite to some pit stops we then move to brazil we had brazil in qualifying last week and we've got it again so no change in the strategy it's a free 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 for driver number one and a 4m5 hard for driver number two race start pretty powerful around here so make up them positions on the first lap and use your power unit to defend we've got singapore and singapore tends to only come with a chance of rain so free soft free soft and a 4m two soft are the options you can also do a two soft 4m if you want to do a really good undercut if you're in the wet though most ai are going to pit lap four and lap five so we're going to do a free wet free wet and a four wet two wet predominantly they're all going to be pitting lap five but you will get the odd car come in on lap number four we move to zandvoort chaos around lap five potentially even into lap six sometimes we've seen that happen so four wet, three wet, and a three wet, four wet. You'll have no one really pitting with you at all. So you should be able to get the use of a good in lap, a good out lap, and then the undercut to perfection. And then to round it off, Silverstone with some chances of rain as well. Very low percentage, but you never know. We're going to stick to our dry strategies. Too soft, too soft, 3M or 3M, too soft, too soft. Copper, and I do like tuning around here as well. That bit of a quicker pit stop. And in the wet, most of the A are going to be pitting lap four. So you want to avoid it. So if you can do a three wet, four wet with both of your drivers, if you can't do that, then potentially a two stop but it is going to be predominantly slower so good luck in your opening round and final round final round is where the points will be scored and we really need you to score your best ever points finish because alpine in p2 are really coming at alpha romeo now so give it your all and let me know down in the comments below how you get on at the hot prospects gp f1 clash community championship round week number four